Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I was reading through this one puzzle. Uh, I thought it was some funny little things about it that uh, just gave me a reason why to, uh, to solve it. First off, it's called Chess Night by Bartmans or something along those lines. Uh, this is their first setting, so that's always a, a wonderful thing. I always try to um, put those on our, my channel if I can, just kind of get the, the name out there and, and hopefully encourage people to keep... Uh, setting um it's also there there is no anti-night um, constraint here and i thought it was pretty funny that i actually read one of the comments on the logic message journey uh puzzle page uh was that uh finally somebody put a an image on the um on the puzzle to remind us of the anti-night <laughs> constraint because apparently a lot of people forget about it like me. So anyway, um, anyway, just thought this would be a nice, fun uh, puzzle here, um, and hopefully this is a starts a, a nice setting career for this guy. So, um, well, I say guy, I don't know, um, male, female, this person. So anyway, chess nights by Bartman's. I'm gonna say Bartman's until I'm corrected in some way. Uh, I've got normal Sudoku rules, so every row, column, and three by three box will contain the digits one through nine once each. Cells connected by a black dot contain digits in a one to two ratio. Cells connected by a white dot connect consecutive digits. So that's Kropke. These two will be consecutive. These two will be in a one to two ratio, or one of them will be double the other. And then we have a German Whisper. So the green lines are German Whisper lines. Consecutive digits along a Whisper line must differ by at least five. So whatever this digit is, this one has to be five away from it, that one five away from that one, and so on and so forth, all across our chess night. So cool. Um, anyway, like I said, this is probably going to be um, pretty simple uh, to solve. Uh, the setter said themselves they, they didn't see much uh, problem with that. But again, it's more about having a little bit of fun and kind of showcasing a new setter. So link's going to be in the description below. Let's get at this thing and have a little bit of fun. Okay. This here is a 1248 trip. These guys have to be the middle digits. These two have to be the outer digits because of just the way it is sorted. Now, does that actually tell us anything? Because we're going to have to start looking at this thing um, via... Wait. There's an X clue here that I didn't notice. Does that mean these are supposed to add to 10? We're going to have to say it does. Okay. <laughs> I just saw that thing and then I realized I didn't read anything about an X clue. So these guys are going to add to 10 apparently. Um, I'm sure they'll correct that. It's their first setting. Mistakes do happen. Uh, let's see. What else can we do, do then? Um, where was I? This group of digits. Here. What does that say about our German Whisper, if anything? Now, of course, we'd like to have a more definitive value here, but it's not necessarily going to happen. Let's think about these guys for a second. Because we can make some re reductions to these guys. Like, this can't ever be a 4, so this can't be an 8. This can't ever be a 6, so this can't be a 3. It'd be great if we can get into one of these. Now, this guy here isn't as restricted this could be a four or a six so that's not going to get us anywhere right now <clears throat> okay now are these guys they are of the same uh polarity so they will either both be high or both be low now if they're both high they're both eights whether that <clears throat> helps us in any way shape or form i don't entirely know I was going to start thinking about where sixes could go down here, but we also can say fives have to go in one of these two. Is that the, eh, we can do some fives. I didn't even think about looking at the fives at this point, but we can. Doesn't say much more beyond that, though. I mean, I guess one of these will be a five. <clears throat> we already know that one. One of those, not helpful. Okay. 
<clears throat> yeah, it didn't look like the fives actually have done much for us. Okay, so what about, actually this can't be a six here. So sixes are in one of these guys. <clears throat> That's the case, this can't be a three, six, so it's one, two, four, and eight. We'll just put that in for the moment. Now, if this is a, what's this one? You, you, and you, uh, we can't quite say. <clears throat> All I'm really trying to do is get onto this German Whisper because once we do that, everything else should flow. <clears throat> Apologies. <clears throat> Had a little something in my throat today and I've been having to keep hydrated. Okay, so I was going to say, could this be an eight? And it can because this could be a three. What about, okay, let's. Let's be maybe a little bit smarter about this. Could this ever be a low digit? Because all of these would be low digits. No, it can't. This is eight. Goodness gracious. Talk about making that more difficult than it needed to be. These are not eights. Uh, that does mean that we said that this one is also an eight, which means this is a four. This is not a four. All right, now we're on this thing. This guy has to be high, so it's six, three. Boom, this could be a six. Let's now dig into this thing. These are ones. Uh, do you want to do the, let's do the all the low first. Well, this one right here is just a two. Um, let's go back to it. You, 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 and you are all of the lows. One, two, three, four. You are twos. You are not twos or fours. That's a one, three pair. So this has to be a nine. This is going to be, oh, this can't be a three. So it's one, three. This is not one or three. This can't be a four because that nine's there. Wait, I've, oh, I missed the mark. Uh, not you. This is still a 1-3. This is the other low digit. So it's 2 or 4 and it can't be 4 or 2. Okay. You're not 1, 2, or 3, so you're 4. You're not 4. The 4 means these are both 9s. Good. You're not 1 or 3 or 4, so you're 2. These are one, these can't be, well, this one could be a four. No, it can't be, because that can't be a nine. So the, neither one of these is fours. That's a one, three pair. Anything seeing those at the moment? No. Okay, let's maybe switch now to highs and lows. This is five, six, and seven, first off. Can't quite tell which one's which. Let's get into these guys. Oh, wait, this is still a low digit. This is not one or four, so it's two or three. This guy, mm, he could be seven. That's all he can be. So that's seven. This is two. Okay. You are not one or two, so you can't be one. Let's keep going on these lines now. Sevens, ones, two. What about you? Uh, you could be seven or nine. You could be anything. You have to be a high, could be six, seven, or eight. Any of these other guys have any real restrictions to them? Not necessarily. Let's put these in then. Um, we could have this one down here be a six, but these can't. And what else does that tell us, if anything? Nothing that I really see. This is not a two anymore, by the way. <clears throat> that could still be six. Okay, let's look at you. Because we have a four here. We... Well, this could be one, two, or three, six. I thought we had more of a reduction there. <clears throat> 
This one's not the one, though, and this is not the two. Yeah, okay. This can't be a six. There we go. That's part of what we needed. Because if this is a six, this is a one, and this is broken. So that's not a six, at least. Now, it doesn't tell us what these are yet, but <clears throat> at least it tells us a little something. All right, what else do we know? Let's, um... Uh, this can't be 6 or 7 because of these guys. We don't know if there's an 8 here or not. Uh, 7, 8, 9 means this is 6. So let's get rid of that. Okay, that again doesn't tell us much. What are these guys? 4 and 5? We can do that. Okay, 5, 4. That doesn't cut across. We can put a 4 here, we can put a 4 here, and one of these is a 4. Well, actually, this one can't be a 4 because one of these two has to be. So that's the 4. Now, this is a 4, which means this is a 4, which means this is an 8. And then we can do the 9, get rid of these 9s, 7, 8, whichever one gets the 3 next to it has to be the 8, of course. Okay, well, what do I hear? Nope, nothing there. Okay, fours we were done with. Let's check in on some of these other spots. One of these is a one, and it can't be this one because this would have to be a two. So this is a one. That tells us this is a three, six. Perfect, which means this is a one. None of those. These are three, five, and six. And this is not three or six, so it's five. Okay. Now these are out for fives. They are threes. No, not threes. Two, seven, or eight. And this is not two, so you are. Good. Can we do something more with the twos then? Yes, this is a two which means this is a three. Twos. This is a two, so this is a two. That finishes the twos. <clears throat> Can we do anything more with our threes? <clears throat> we can. This is a three, which means this is one and three. That settles our eight, seven, and eight here. So seven. Ugh, this guy here is a three. What are these three? Two, three, four, five, six, and eight. This is eight, so this is a five, six. What are these two? Five and seven, so this is the five and the seven and the six and the five. This is a given nine, this is a given six. That says seven. <coughs> really sorry. Um, this is 5 and 8, so we can put the 8 and the 5. These two have to be 7 and 6. This one is the 7 and 6 because of this. This is a given. 8. These guys have to be 5, 8, and 9. And there's not enough there to put in. We just know this one isn't an 8. <clears throat> Let's switch over to here. Well, maybe make use of that little X clue that was excluded. Seven, nine, and these will be one, six. So if we are to assume these are, is a correct, this is not oops, nine and one. So six and seven, that creates five and seven. What are these two? One here and nine looks like. What are these three? Three, five, and six. Not quite resolved. Okay. Now our German Whisper is done. So let's jump back into our Sudoku and see how we can finish this off. Threes are in X wing. Fours are done. Fives, no. Six is one of those two. Yeah, we can use the sixes. 
So this is three and six first off. Now we know six goes here, six goes here. That's all the sixes. Now let's see if we can work the rest of these out. Because <clears throat> these now have to be three and five. These three have to have seven, five, seven, and nine. So this is seven, this is nine, this is five. And we can just finish off the puzzle. This is eight, this is five, this is nine. There we go. So we solved the puzzle, solution is correct. Um, 577 solves in four days. Yep, that's about right for this uh, puzzle. Uh, very good, took me a little while. I just don't know why I didn't see this thing down here. And the second I got in here, it got everything running. So um, very good puzzle, I really enjoyed that one. And we didn't have to remember that there was an anti-night move because there wasn't an anti-night move. <laughs> Um, but anyway, uh, really good puzzle. Um, again, I hope Bartman's here continues to make some settings because that was a very fun puzzle to do. So anyway, hope you all enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.